Yeah, they left. I'm sure they have. about the work with Manamoy girl this morning. Oh, just good uh, good maintenance, you know, we're starting to uh, tune her up a little bit, you know, approaching the Breeders' Cup. And uh, we have about uh, two walks uh, left uh, for her. Next week's probably going to be the important one, you know, two weeks out of the race and probably like, gonna ask her for a little bit and get her a little bit tired and get her ready for the race. And um, you've been riding her whole career other than, I guess, her first race, hey. correct? Yes. Hey, yeah. So I'm just thinking a year ago, she, she was getting ready for the rags to riches here yep. at, at Churchill and just sort of reflect on the year that, you know, where she's taking uh, everybody here. Yeah, honestly, right after she won the rags to riches, we thought we had something special, you know, because at the time our number came back pretty fast and just the way she did it and the way she handled the, the dirt for the first time, we are really impressed and uh, she started walking uh, lights out in the morning and out walking uh, every horse we had, so we thought she probably could be special for next year. She was, was she getting tired the last in the last No, race? she does not, no. Actually, that's the, that's the opposite, you know. At least she, she does it so effortless. She, she's just waiting for company all the time at the end, you know. I have a ton of horse left, and people think, oh, he was going... Other horses can go by me and catch her, but, I mean, if they go close to me or they put their head in front, I'm positive I'm going to catch them back. Uh, Wonder Gadot came next to me, and my feeling was waiting on her a little bit, you know, down the stretch. When I got out, came next to me, put her head in front, and I give her two tap, and here she goes again, and I beat her up by half a lang, and got up out, you know, she was still in front. I mean, uh, just the way she, she, she does things, she likes to, as long as she has a horse in front of her, she just keep on going. When she makes the lead, she just wait around a little bit, but uh, I don't feel like she's getting tired. How, you know, she's on a string of grade ones. How bitter was the DQ in the last race? So that's kind of, you know, didn't feel too good, but I understand why, you know, they, they took us down. I, honestly, I think it could have gone either way. Uh, it probably looks worse visually than it was really on the racetrack because I, any point, you know, I, I touched him. Don't get me wrong, you know, I came around, you know, pretty far, you know, down the stretch. But uh, people thought, hey, he was going to go by you. And I mean, he was, he was not have gone next to me, he would have gone close to me, but I don't think he would have passed me if I really, like, asked her for the maximum. But no, that's the way it is, you know, and, like, uh, I don't think that was fair for the... Like, I would have loved to see a fair race and everybody stay straight and her being the best of the two, but that's just she, she, she goes, you know, she's very quirky and maybe that's why she's, she's so good because she just, you know, she don't go all the way to the bottom. She likes to keep at least a little bit something on, uh, in reserve. So talk about what your confidence will be going into the um, distaff, the Breeders' Cup distaff, at a mile and eight, the distance of which she's never had another horse finish in front of her, um, over a track which she won the, the Kentucky Oaks and multiple races. And when you look around the country, I mean, just how are you going to feel about as she takes on older horses for the first time in the distaff? Well, I think we have a little bit advantage on some of the other fillies, uh, our filly and Minai Bizu, since we are based here. So I think it's an advantage you know, for the boss of us, for the three old fillies, both of them going to face all the fillies for the first time. And now if you look at it, you know, I think it's wide open. You know, you think if Abel Tasman, she's at her top, probably should be the favorite or should be the horse to beat. But you know, last time she looked like she got sick and she won a poor race. Uh, I'm sure, you know, Bob's gonna fix her. And if she's going to come in a race, he's going to have a hundred percent. He's not going to bring her if she's not. And, uh, She's probably going to be the, top, the horse to beat. And from there, there is also fillies in the, in the country, you know, and like the filly who won uh, last week, uh, the Spinster uh, Blue Prize, and looks like she's won very good races here at, the, at Churchill Down. I think it should come uh, interesting, but I love my chances, and if I have to choose, uh, I would pick her.